Well, Yarmo, we have certainly enjoyed being here in your country. I'm just curious what it's like for you to be here in your home country and see the Blue Jackets logo on fans and on, you know, the larger Blue Jackets family, if you will, all through Helsinki and your home country. Yeah, it's, it's very exciting. Obviously, I, I get to enjoy a lot of the things that the guys have seen now the past few days and first days to Finland for me it's just like an everyday thing but but to see our team here and the fans and how excited they are now watching watching the open practice it's it's uh, it's great and to hear the way people are reacting to your home country has to be gratifying for you too as well I would imagine yeah well it just shows you how uh, how um, passionate people here are about hockey but also uh, you know understanding the uh, the foreign country and and being open-minded the guys I think appreciate it a lot Patrick and Jonas have kind of been de facto ambassadors for the country as well and, and for their homeland. And I think they've embraced that as well. Have you noticed that from them? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, they, uh, they're proud of their country and they, they want to be, uh, want to make sure that all the guys get to see the best parts of it. And uh, they're doing a good job. And, uh, you know, I've, I've only seen some of the media reports and some of the social media things that people have shown me, but it looks like they got a good taste of Finland. Now that we're here in Tampere, it's time for business, and, and I'm sure that's, for, you know, uppermost on your mind, right, is, is making sure that the team performs the way you want them to perform, whether they're here or whether they're at home. Absolutely. we got to get our game on rails mm-hmm. here now. Uh, we, we've been lost the last couple of games, and, and um, you know, everybody goes through t- tough patches in the season, but uh, now it's time to straighten it out. And, um, you know, I think it's a good opportunity for us to be here together for a week, do some team building, and kind of forget about some of the... Uh, the tough games that we've had and do a reset and restart as if we're starting the season over again because what we've done in the last couple games is unacceptable and we we got to get it back on track well there's certainly been some down moments but there have been some up moments too are you able to see through all of that and see some of the things that this team can use as building blocks to to be successful here as we move forward maybe even beginning with this trip definitely i mean it's not very long ago when we played in new york and beat the rangers 5-1 that's that's two two weeks ago on sunday and we were sort of uh, climbing the mountain and thinking that we were getting close to the top, and now here we go. And then and, and we took a uh, downturn there for the next three games, and now we got to get back on track. But there's definitely been some good parts. But but uh, game is 60 minutes. We've had maybe a great 20 minutes, great 40 minutes, and, and uh, some good comeback wins there with Nashville. And, for example, and, and Vancouver, but um, you got to play 60 minutes and you got to be consistent from game to game and shift to shift, and that's something that we've been lacking so far, but we're going to get it going. Well, Yarmo, I think maybe being here in your home country might bring this team some luck. What do you think? Yeah, and, I, and like I said, I think guys have been together now basically 24-7 here in Finland, and they've done a lot of team building and, and, and things together, and they've been talking, and and everybody wants, wants to get uh, our game on the right track the way we can play and, and once we get there I think the results will come too but but it's step by step a couple of good practices here a little bit of rest and then we'll be ready to go tomorrow.